Hey everyone, Astri here. Just wanted to give all of you an update regarding what's going on with my channel. As you may have noticed, I'm not making much Bloodborne content anymore. I've still got the material to make one final video for it, but other than that, I'm pretty much done with the game. I don't have a whole lot of friends left who still play, and I don't have PlayStation Plus, nor can I afford it. I'm generally unhappy with how things have played out with the last year of the game's lifespan. The servers are being neglected, just as the Demon Souls NA server was, and instances of lag in what would have otherwise been clean fights are much more common than they used to be. Random PvP is populated by players who don't respect the 100 to 120 meta range, and knowingly abuse matchmaking limits by using 142 to 175 builds. Save edited characters are fairly commonplace too, with no threat of bans by Sony or FromSoft. Lastly, there are individuals who knowingly cheat in random PvP and are given a free pass by a number of people in the community, because it's just randoms. It's fine as long as it's not used against me, and it doesn't make a difference anyway because I still beat them. This is thinking I simply cannot agree with. If that was me as a random, I'd be inclined to drop the game right then and there, and if it happens to a few players a day, then there will be no one to fight in just a few months at most. There are even players out there who believe that save edited dungeons, which were meant to help alleviate the pains of farming gems, including the fabled Radial 27.2 Arcane Gem, are a partial cause in the breakdown of the community. I'd like to put that to rest because it's not the dungeon editors who are breaking the game. If someone wants to point fingers, point them at FromSoft and Sony for not having anti-cheat. Point them at players who abuse the save editor to give themselves unobtainable gems, unlimited resources, and extra stats. For those of you who don't know, I worked directly with Xtrin in generating farming glyphs for about half a dozen of the dual dungeons at your disposal. Why? So that builds could use elemental and nourishing gems that are easier to farm and become more viable for more variety than just Thrust, Holy Moonlight Sword, and Saw Spear. Ultimately, though, it's the player's choice to use builds that deviate from the tried and true meta. For now, I will be playing other games. Right now I'm in the midst of my first blind playthrough of Dark Souls 3 on PC, which I've been streaming on Twitch. I don't plan to stay with it long after my first playthrough, and I won't be able to stream often, but I hope at least some of you drop by to chat. At some point, I may bring the stream over to YouTube since I started here and built this little channel from the ground up. But for now, I'll stick to Twitch. I greatly appreciate all of you who are on this journey with me, and all of my friends who have helped me along the way. I'll include a link to my Twitch account in the video description. Hunters and Chosen Undead, take care.